Um, here's the bike. Um, I've had it for a week or two now. But I'm finally back at home in the garage. Uh, you sort of have to excuse the mess. It's a bit chaotic in here. I'm trying to clear out the garage and fix up my bike at the same time. So it's just absolute carnage. Um, anyway, there's a few little issues. Um, I'll sort of do varying, I'll do various videos on each vi each issue instead of try to cover them all in one video, which is supposed to be about something else. Um, but today, I'm going to be talking about the headlights. Now, originally the issues have a single round headlight with one bulb, but what someone's done is they've sort of tried to street fighter it a bit. Um, I mean, they've done a shit job to be honest, but and they put these twin lights on, which, yeah, fair enough, it does look okay, but what they've done is they've wired two lights on the original circuit, um, which was only supposed to be powering one light, and these are just, it's nothing short of dangerous. Driving down the road on your normal beam, you just can't see anything. You can sort of see something on high beam, but then traffic comes the other way, and you have to turn back on the dip beam, and you just can't see anything again. So what I'm going to do is um, I've got some relays, I've got some new brighter bulbs, they're still legal, um, they're the Osram Nightbreaker Plus, so I've got to put those in, um, I've got some wire uh, connectors and that, what I'm going to do is, on this, it doesn't actually have a relay for the lights, as standard, so all the current is uh, going through the switch into the lights, and obviously it's trying to power two lights when it's only supposed to power one, so I think the contacts in the switch are probably dirty, so I'm going to clean those out, but also I'm going to run a direct link from the battery to the lights. And for that, I've got a couple of relays here. Hang on. Should have probably got these out before I start jabbering on. But... Right. For those of you that don't know what a relay is, this is a relay. Basically what it is, it's kind of like a switch, but it saves you trying to put through loads of current through something like that. So what you do, you've got the battery. The battery goes to the relay. And then you take a feed off directly to the lights. But then you take a feed off the switch onto the relay. So that when you do the switch, you're only passing a tiny bit of current through the switch that goes to the relay. The relay handles all the power. Which means obviously your switch lasts longer. And also you can do sort of modifications, like with a relay, you could have like a million lights, well, not a million, but you could have loads of lights done by a simple little switch, and you don't have to worry about burning your switch out, and you can, you can have different power relays, so you can put like silly lights on there if you want, um, so that's what the relay does. Um, as well as that, obviously, it's got to be fused, so I've got a little fuse holder, that's going to go there. I've got two, because I'm going to do it um, obviously a relay for low beam and a relay for high beam um, so that's what I'm going to do because at the minute the power goes through the switch into one light then into the other um, which is a really bad way of doing things because both lights are trying to share the old power supply whereas from this relay I'm going to run down to there then it's going to split off into the back of two lights so it's not going through one then the other so both lights will be getting full power uh, that's the plan. So, tank's gonna have to come off. I'm gonna have to fill around with the wires. Oh, I've got a, I've got a manual for it with a wiring diagram, which helps no end. So, if you're gonna do anything like this, electrical, definitely get like a Haynes manual or workshop manual of some kind, because they're worth it. Uh, yeah, I mean, these are the bulbs I've got. Actually, I'll, I'll try and where's my keys? Uh, have some keys. I'll show you how crap these lights are. That, I mean, it comes out quite bright on the uh, on the camera, but seriously, I mean, they're not. It's just terrible. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, that's enough jabbering on by me. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, get to see. I'll get the tank off, and I'll do sort of like incremental videos as I'm progressing, so it's not just one huge massive video. Uh, so yeah, off I go. 
Right, as we can see now, I've taken the lights completely off, wherever they are. And this is the original plug which went in the back of the round headlight. The other thing was, all this would originally been tucked in the back of the headlight as well, so I might do something about waterproofing all this. Um, that was the original side light. And what they've done is they've plugged this in, which then piggybacks another two connectors off that one plug. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'll cut these about here. Um, this is the earth wire, but I think the yellow is high beam and the white is low beam, or it could be the other way around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to snip those off there, and I'm going to run those. One to the high beam relay, one to the low beam relay, and then I've got to run two more power cables with a thicker gauge back to what uh, back to here, and then from those two outputs, I'll split those off into two. So I won't just stick them in one light, then the other. I'll have one thick gauge, um, thick uh, 17 amp fucking uh, uh, cable. My mind's gone blank, and then I'll split that off on a piggyback connector. To the two lights and yeah I, I'll still piggyback the side lights because they don't use much wattage so they'll be fine especially as I'm using LEDs now so they'll stay the same and then uh, I will run the earths back to the battery so then it's all done off this switch so right so we're making a bit of headway now um, you can see in there I've taken two feeds those are going to be the they're the switch, uh, the high low switch feeds, which I'm going to route through. I'm going to cable tie all that up nicely. I've routed it round. I've got two relays, high relay, low relay. Um, I've got earthed. I've got them um, hooked up to the positive. No fuses in them at the minute, so I know that when I'm working on these, there's no um, power to them, so I'm not going to short anything out. Um, so yeah, also I tinkered with the switch and I've repaired that, so the path, the path switch now works, as well as just switched it on and that, so my path switch works. Uh, so yeah, all I need to do now is take a feed from the low relay and the high relay, take those feeds down, I'm going to take them down there, I'm sure I need to split them off into two, then... Uh, where have I put the plugs? Um, not that one. I've got a couple of plugs around somewhere. Oh. Ah. Yeah, so basically I've got two of these. I'm going to hook them up so they both come off the feeds into the lights and I've also tidied up some of that wiring as well. So, nearly there. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll quickly uh, get that done. Right, we're finally getting here now. Um, all the leads on the relays are connected. Um, I've got two inputs coming out, two outputs going out. I've got the positives hooked up. I've got the earths hooked up. I've also got my earth cable. I used a thicker gauge earth cable. I don't know if you can see. That's the earth cable. You can see comparison there between the two. The earth cable is a lot bigger. Um, I just did it just for the fun of it. I mean, I was going to have to run one anyway, so I put big gauge earth cable in. Uh, come around the front. We've got, uh, I think that one's my high beam, that one's my low beam. Uh, we've got the earth, and I've got my lights here. All done. I crimped and soldered them because these crimps aren't very good. So I put some little dabs of solder in there as well, heat shrink them up. I might just tape all this lot up, up to here and split them off sort of there and then obviously I've got my side light cable there I just need to do that because um, that was all disintegrating so I just pulled it off so I'm going to take that back up here and run some new cable and we should be good I mean uh, the relays click when you're activating so I think we're all good now so I'll connect these and it's just a matter of sorting the side lights out put the lights back on and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have decent lights again. Woohoo! Right guys, as you can see it's all back together now. 
Um, I've just been out for a spin and I put the battery on charge because fiddling with the lights earlier it just drained the battery. They're really little batteries so you want to watch out for that. And that's a new battery so I'm looking after that as best as possible. Um, everything's back together. And oh, the difference is just ridiculous. Uh, before when you're driving down the road you couldn't even see anything so uh, that's a huge improvement I do want to just angle my lights up slightly but in terms of light output I've easily got three times as much as I had um, sort of I had twice again by running it off the relays direct from the battery and also using the um, uh, Osram night breakers it also gives you much better light so if you've got twin headlights on yours and it's a mod and they're running off one of the old original circuit through the switch or the old relay it's it's definitely worth doing so um yeah anyway that's all for today um